Good morning everyone and welcome to week 5 of my 2024 spring clean. Today we are going to be working on the bathroom and the toilet, the last two rooms of the house that are waiting for their spring clean. These are also, as you guys know, the smallest rooms in the house, which makes them a lot quicker and a lot easier to deep clean. But also, because they are like kind of wet rooms, they get deep cleaned a lot more frequently than the rest of the house. So this should be a pretty easy, pretty satisfying video. So I'm starting off by taking everything out of the bathroom that I can physically take out so that I've got a nice blank canvas to work on. I'm going to start off today by cleaning the tiles. As usual, I am using my Silip Bang spray for these. I know it's not the perfect solution for tiles, but it works well enough for me. It always gets them up really nice and glossy and it doesn't smell too bad. It's kind of strong, but it's not crazy. So I'm just going over the tiles with a sponge and the Silip Bang, giving them a good clean down. I will come back and I will rinse them with the shower head in a little while but for the time being I just want to concentrate on getting the silip band worked in and left to do its job. So while I'm over on this side of the bath, I'm just going to remove the rainfall shower head and give that a nice soak in some Viacal to get rid of the scale and any kind of marks or anything from the water. While I'm there, I'm also going to spray the taps and all of the chrome to get rid of all the water marks, all the lime scale, all that stuff. The Viacal is pretty strong smelling and I don't like to be in the room with it for too long. So I'm only going to leave it to sit for about five minutes um, but our bathroom does have an extractor fan so it's pretty well ventilated and it was okay on this particular occasion so I'm just going around now with the silip bang and doing the lower tiles as well I don't have to get into the bath for this one fortunately um, and I'm just going to get those wiped down as well before I can rinse them off I do apologise for the reflections on the glass door. Um, this door does not open all the way out, so I can't open it while I film for you guys because we have the sink in the way. So I did clean the tap and the plug hole with the Viacal, um, but unfortunately the camera didn't record. I don't know if I just didn't hit the button right or whatever. So I'm gonna do it again for you guys. <laughs> but unfortunately that means you won't get to see all the grime and stuff. So I've sprayed it again for you and we're gonna come back and deal with that in a minute. But for now I'm going to polish up all of the shower heads and the main chroming down towards the shower. I'm going to use my toothbrush just to get into the little nozzles of the secondary shower head um, before I put the main one back on again. So I'm just cleaning the, um, what would you call it, hose? <laughs> the chrome hose and the taps. This is the first time I've ever managed it without soaking myself. I feel like I'm learning things as I'm getting older and wiser. And I'm going round with that toothbrush again, getting into all the little cracks and crevices of the tap. Uh, this does get pretty manky back here, I'm not going to make any excuses for it, it's because I don't clean it enough. Um, just because it's fiddly, I guess, but I'm getting it done today. And it's much, much better already. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm even polishing the plug hole, look how good I am today. <laughs> I was really not feeling it today. I've been pretty ill recently. I'm not sure what's going on with me. I just don't feel right. It's not like a specific illness. I just feel really under the weather at the moment. So to motivate myself to get that far was pretty good. So I'm just rinsing down the tiles now with the secondary shower head. That's what I always do. I will go around and just buff those with a dry microfiber cloth in a little while just to give them a good polish. But I tend to end up doing that five or six times because I will buff everything and then I'll clean something else and it will get wet again. 
So going over the main rainfall shower head with the toothbrush and the Viacal, look how shiny and gorgeous that is. It's worked perfectly. And the plug hole. I'm sorry you can't really see this. I did get my action camera, you guys. I was talking about it in the last video. I did get it, but I haven't really figured out how to get decent footage with it yet. The footage that I'm getting is really kind of grainy and not very not very good. I think I'm going to have to spend a little bit more on a more expensive one, which means we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but I got the footage that I could. Like I say, I've already done this tap once, so you can't really see the grime. <laughs> The first time I did it, there was all kind of brown gunk coming from the bottom of the tap. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You can see that I have now cleaned the tap. It's very clean. It's now double cleaned. I'm going to rinse off that shower head and get it popped back up onto the main shower unit and try and get this bath finished. It felt like it was taking a really, really long time just to clean the bath area more so than normal and I wasn't really going into any more depth than I normally do on a deep clean I don't know maybe because I was on with it just it felt like forever and it felt like I was constantly polishing all this chrome but I can reliably inform you that less than half an hour passed after I had cleaned this bathroom before somebody went for a shower and totally ruined it family life eh So next up is the screen door, again silk bang going in and my scrub mummy, my trusty little Christmas tree. This thing comes everywhere with me, I love it. I really do need to invest in a couple more scrub mummies though because when this thing goes in the wash I miss it like one of my children honestly. It's so sad when I don't have it. So now that has been scrub clean I'm just going to go over with my window vac, get rid of all that excess product, excess moisture and just check the results of the clean. I do sometimes miss little bits and bobs so I do have a check as I'm going over it with the back to make sure that I've got everything up. And time for the lower half, same thing, different half. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now I have removed the plastic seal that goes onto the bottom of the shower door, screen door, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to give that a good clean as well. So I end up using the toothbrush again. It's always handy to have a spare cleaning toothbrush around, guys, if you don't have one already. They're really good for getting into all the little nooks and crannies, particularly with this. It was full of that kind of, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but you know, that kind of pink bacterial buildup. This was full of that so it was really nice to get that out and get it clean. I've put it back on, I'm hoping the right way around. We'll find out as soon as I go for a shower. <laughs> if not, I'll just move it around. So moving on to the bath itself, because this gets cleaned really, really regularly, I'm only gonna go in with the flash spray today, nothing particularly heavy. I was thinking about using a cream cleaner, but I know that they are mildly abrasive and I really don't wanna damage the bath. And it wasn't necessary, like I say, I clean it quite a lot, at least three or four times a week it gets a, a clean. So I just did it with a flash today and it seemed to do a really good job. So 
so again I'm going in with the Viacal on the chrome just to get all of the spots of water and lime scale off we are in a very hard water area here in Hertfordshire so um, we do get marks on chrome quite a lot um, it's always pretty satisfying to get it nice and clean though I won't deny that Viacal is really really good for that so I'm just going over both of these handles with the Viacal and the toothbrush and then I will rinse them off just with some clear water from the secondary shower head and that will be those done Okay, so now I am moving on to the sink area. The first thing that I want to clean today is the toothbrush holder. I say toothbrush holder, it ends up holding all sorts of things during the week. It's supposed to be just for the toothbrushes and the toothpaste, but we end up with razors in there, bathroom scissors in there, all sorts of things, and it gets grubby. So every week or so I give it a clean out, nothing much, just a little bit of cleaner scrub mummy gets in there give it a rinse and it's ready to go now I'm doing the sink and the tap again nothing major it gets done pretty re re regularly relatively regularly so it's not too bad so I'm giving that tap another polish because like I say it's gotten wet again and I'm giving the tiles a quick go over they don't need anything near as um, as much as the bathroom ones did so well bath area so it's time to move out the big cabinet now. I don't move this thing out enough. I won't I won't beat around the bush. This thing gets moved out very, very re rarely because I hate doing it because stuff always drops on the floor. I don't know why they can't make those cabinets so that the kind of curved bit that goes around the plinth is not closed in. I might try and fabricate something with some um, sort of flexi plastic or something like that because every time I move that thing a bunch of stuff falls out so I'm cleaning this box at the back here this is literally just boxing in some pipes that um, until they did the bathroom were driving me crazy they would just sit there and gather dust and hair and spiders and all sorts of things so I'm really glad they're boxed in but as you can see on the left hand side of the picture now the um, silicon that they put around it has come away so that's a job that I'm going to have to redo at some point soon because we're going to get water in there and that's going to start mould off and we're very cautious about mould in this place because we suffer so badly with damp so I need to get that done in the near future as well so I'm just cleaning the skirting boards and the area right underneath the sink I'm just going to use a wipe to get all of the grit and dust and hair and all those bits and bobs that fall down the back of the cabinet to get those up first before I clean the rest of the floor. So to do the main clean on this area I'm just using my flash multi-purpose in the cherry blossom scent. It smells really lovely. Um, sorry if you can hear the motorbike outside. Someone's got a really loud bike around here. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to go over the floor and the skirting boards with that. It smells gorgeous. Made it smell really lovely and clean in here by the time I was finished. So it's time to move that cabinet back in. I'm not going through it today and clearing it out today purely because that is going to be a video coming up soon. I'm going to be going through during April and decluttering a few key areas of my house that are building up with stuff and that bathroom cabinet is definitely one of those areas. So I'll be coming through in the next couple of weeks, I'll be measuring it up, I'm hopefully going to get some storage bins that will fit in there properly um, and I will be going through decluttering reorganizing and just making it better but that will be a video coming up in April for you guys if you're interested so for now I'm just going to go around and get the rest of those skirting boards done get the radiator done and then we can finally move on to cleaning the floor
So now that the room itself is clean, it's time to start popping things back. As I'm putting things back, I'm kind of going through everything that I've pulled out and making sure that I'm not putting excess stuff back in. I've also got a couple of new shower puffs. I've got a new loofah and it's all just going to be nice and fresh, ready for the next person. While I was here, I remembered that I hadn't cleaned the mirror, so I'm just going over that really quickly and popping a new air freshener in. I think this is the Cottons then. I love these little air fresheners, they're great. So that's the bathroom done. So now on to the toilet. This is day two and this was more of a job than I let myself in for. <laughs> because this is such a tiny room and it usually only takes me five or ten minutes to clean it, I figured a deep clean wouldn't be that much longer. Um, but I was totally in the mood for a good scrub soapy clean today. <laughs> so it took me a lot longer than I'd anticipated but I have sped it up for you guys so that it's not too boring so I started off by cleaning the toilet roll holder I love this little sheep we got it from I think it's called Redbubble the site um, I love it it's so cute and uh, we do need to get some more toilet rolls to fill it up but it looks like a lovely little fluffy sheep when it's all full and I love it but it does get quite dusty so I've just gone through with my flash multipurpose today, giving it a little clean and I'll just pop the loo rolls that we do have um, on there again and that's ready to go when we do a new shop. So next up I'm moving to the very top of the toilet. I always clean the toilet from the outside in um, just to stop myself from moving nasty bacteria from the outside of the toilet uh, from the inside of the toilet sorry out to the handle and things like that so i always start with the top and then work from the outside in with the toilet just cleaned the toilet rubber holder again that's another one that gets really really dusty so now and then i just like to pop the loo roll off and give that a bit of a clean so the toilet itself gets cleaned as you can tell from my other videos a few times a week i'm trying to do it daily but it doesn't need like a big scrub clean daily so it's not too bad today it's just a tick over clean but i want to go all out and give this a really good scrub clean today so i've got my gloves on i've got my silic brain spray the hard picks going on in there and then i've got my flash multi-purpose in some nice hot water and a sponge and I am just going to go for it with a soapy, sudsy, wet clean today. This was so satisfying. I absolutely loved it. Definitely going to clean my toilet like this more in the future. So like I say, I'm just working from the outside in and going over it with the flash. Never forget the bottom of your toilet guys. This gets really mucky, really dusty, hairy. It gets covered in, well, I'm sure you can imagine what it gets covered in. So a good scrubby clean was definitely needed on this toilet today. I am using a separate sponge guys. Um, I do have a pack, a massive pack of sponge that I bought at the beginning of my spring clean. <laughs> so I'm going in with a separate sponge and a fresh bowl of the flash before anyone starts to panic about bacteria being brought down. Um, so I'm going over all of the back of this, all of the sides, the base, and then I'm just going in with a microfiber cloth or two and just clearing off all of the excess studs. This brought the toilet up so, so nicely. I was really, really happy with it. And in all honesty, it didn't really take that much longer than when I cleaned it with wipes. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it had so much more of a clean because it's been absolutely sopping wet with suds and product. And it's just, I feel like it's way cleaner than I get it with the wipes. So I think once a week I will clean it like this in the future and the rest of the time I will clean with wipes. And I think that will be really good going forward for keeping it nice and fresh in here. So 
So just to make totally sure it's definitely done, I'm just going to pop some of the pink stuff foaming toilet cleaner into here as well. I'm not sure what this did because it doesn't, it usually goes like halfway up the toilet bowl, but today it pushed round into the U-bend really strange. So while that's working its magic, I'm just going to go over the skirting boards. As some of you guys know, we have a kind of leaky extractor fan back here, so we end up with these kind of yellow puddles on the skirting board in particular place underneath the fan. Don't worry, that's not pee, that's water from the fan, it's there every single day and I clean it up every single day. <laughs> so I'm just going over the rest of the skirting boards with the flash spray, that's all I'm going to be using from now on um, during this clean is the flash spray, getting all of the dust, hair, fibres, all of that off of the skirting boards and then I'm going to finish it off with cleaning the floor. So we are finally nearly there guys, almost at the end of my toilet and bathroom clean for this, I would say for this year, it doesn't mean it's the only time, but the end of my spring clean 2024 indoors. I'll be doing a garden video for you later in the week, I'm going to pop out and get that done. But I really, really hope that you guys have liked these spring clean videos. If you do have any more requests for videos you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.